often do we do ENT examinations? Every febrile child should receive an ENT examination. So where do we start? Once you've taken your history and examined the child to build your bond, explain to the parent and child what will happen. Positioning is key. The best position is with the child sitting on the parent's lap facing you, with one of the parent's arms above the child's arms and the other parent's arm holding the child's head. The ears will be sore if the child has a viral infection or an ear infection. You can use tricks like can I see a bumblebee and make buzzing sounds or dinosaurs or whatever you think the child likes and turn it into a game to distract them. The throat examination can also be a challenge. Toddlers might bite the tongue depressor and clench their teeth. Take your time and do it well. Always best to have the child distressed once than by multiple people. Sometimes waiting for the best time, like a cry or a scream, is best. And I promise you, it will get easier with time. Asking them to roar like a lion or to touch their chin with their tongue can also be really helpful. Don't worry, the children that need holding, the smaller ones, will likely forget that this has ever happened, no matter how upset they are at the time. I promise it gets better with practice careful not to get kicked, it rarely happens, and last but not least, you've got this.